Hello viewers, in this video I will show you this car dash camera from the company Autovox. This one is the model number D2. This dash cam has a 2.7 inch color LCD display on the back and it records in full HD 1080p. Let's unbox this so you can see what the dash cam looks like. Here is a user manual. This is the dash cam itself. Here is the power cable, window, suction cup mount, installation clips, and a plastic pry bar. Here's a quick look at everything you get with this dash cam. Let's have a closer look at this dash cam. This camera records in 1080p, 30 frames per second. The lens is a 135 degree wide angle lens. On the right, there's a speaker. On this side, we have the HDMI output reset button. On the back, this is a 2.7 inch color LCD display. There's the up select button, down select button, there's the OK button, and there's the mode button. On this side we have the micro SD memory card slot. At the top we have the USB connector to power the dash cam. Next to it, this is for the optional GPS antenna. This is the audio video output. There's a power button, and there's a menu button. To install the windshield suction cup mount is very simple. What you want to do is place this end into the slot at the top of the dash cam and then slide it. Now you can mount this onto the windshield with the power cable. This has the mini USB connector and this cable is 11 feet long so it will give you enough length to run it from the top headliner down to your center console. Here I'll be installing the micro SD memory card. This dash cam supports up to maximum of 32 gigabyte of memory size. Now I'll connect the power cable to this dash cam and power it up. Once the dash cam is powered on, the recording will begin automatically. If you want to stop the recording, press the OK button right here. If you press the mode button, it will take you to the photo taking mode. Press it again. This is the playback mode. Press it once again. Now you're back to the video record mode. While the recording has stopped, if you press the menu button at the top, this will open up the setup menu. You can use the up and down arrow key to navigate. First one is image size. HD or HD, loop recording, 2 minutes, 3 minutes or 5 minutes, G sensor, off, low, medium or high, auto off machine. So if you're not recording, the dash cam can turn off automatically. Right now it's set to 3 minutes, date stamp, on or off, exposure value, version of the software, GPS config, this is an option so we're not using that. Now we're back to the image size. If you press the menu button twice, you'll go into this other page with additional setup for this dash cam. First item is day and time. You can set the day and time of this dash cam. Screen saver. Right now it's set to off. If you want, while it's recording, you can turn off this LCD. So you can set it for off 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Record audio on or off. We'll leave that on so the mic will record the audio. Card of parking. Language. Beep sound. Format to format the micro SD card. Default setting to change the settings back to factory default. Now we're back to day and time. Press the menu button again to exit. To install this dash cam, all you have to do is place the suction cup onto the windshield. Press it down and then turn this knob at the back here until it locks. Now connect the power cable with the mini USB connector to the dash cam. Route the power cable up to the headliner, over to the A-pillar and down to your center console. Now connect your 12 volt power adapter into your cigarette lighter plug.
as you can see, this Autovox D2 dash cam works very well. I like the fact that it has a very large 2.7 inch color LCD display on the back so you can see what's going on with the dash cam. The high definition video recording is very good, has a lot of details. If you want to check it out, I will put the Amazon link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.